Hey folks, welcome back to Mainville ATV and Outdoors. If you've watched in the past, you've likely seen that we did a trapping series this past fall. And uh, with that, we got to share a lot of trapping knowledge and kind of the way of the north and in, uh, in Canada and some of the things that we do culturally. So it, it's, uh, it was a great experience. If you haven't watched them yet, go back and check those out. What we're doing today is sort of the winter version, except uh, we don't have any adults here. Our wives stay at home, so <laughs> hopefully uh, we survive. And uh, it's always a treat, just me and my dad. It's been years since we actually done this together alone, so it's going to be an interesting experience. To catch you up to where we are right now, basically getting to his trap cabin in the winter is quite the adventure. So uh, the roads on the way in, the old logging roads and you know all those back trails and stuff right now are in pretty terrible condition. So way up north you never know what the snow is going to be like. It's, it's a little longer, uh, a little more chaotic. So what we're doing today is we drove to another lake quite a few hours south and we're actually going to sled our way in because it's actually simpler, easier. Um, so that involves a few new challenges of having a toboggan and everything like that. So of course my dad's set up for that kind of stuff. He's got a toboggan and he knows how to do all this stuff. So I had to borrow a toboggan from Pete Sales and Service out of uh, Pembroke, Ontario. So big shout out to uh, Todd and the folks there at the dealership. Thank you for lending me a toboggan because now I don't have to buy one for one trip. So uh, that's handy, but uh, here we are. We got the uh, 900 Ace Turbo, which should be uh, quite the get up. And uh, there's the toboggan there, and I kind of hillbillied it up with a blue tarp and some straps, but got to get the job done today. And uh, my dad, of course, if you watch the series or if you're catching up, this is what we've got going on. So that's a 2016? 2016 800 Expedition Extreme. And it's been good to you? The ultimate crossover machine ultimate <laughs> i don't know if it's crossover i mean it's quite the monster <laughs> it's the uh, 54 track 20 inch wide uh 164 horsepower um yeah it bulldozes it tows it pulls it races it uh eats snow i don't know about races <laughs> so now we're back to like the, Hulk and the Arctic cat and here we go yeah again. yeah yeah so you got to have all the toys so and again part of the expenses that we talked about in the last series like you also have all the winter version of everything you need to do this gps we're going up 40 miles or 40 kilometers of lake so if you don't know where you're going or what you're doing it could be an ultimate challenge not having the right equipment so gps chainsaw for those trees those surprises in the toboggan, in a sleigh, we have our, well, cooler food, we have our water. Oh, we I'm glad we brought food. Oh, sorry. We better not get split up. I have all the booze and you have all the food. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, you got the better deal. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have one good night out here, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, being prepared, being organized for the worst. We got the safety kit with us. We talked about that in your last series about being prepared, breaking down. These are machines, right? Yeah. Uh, they're mechanical and they do break. And we've got spare belts and you have all the extra two strokey stuff with oils and whatnot. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. I just go full turbo down the right lake. On, right on. But yeah, we were both hauling quite a bit of weight, especially my dad here. He's got the ice auger and the chainsaw. and 10 uh, pounds of gas. Oh, gallons. Come on, measuring science. He's got about 50 liters of oh fuel in there. <laughs> so do I. So uh, we're both on full tanks. We're pretty much going to blow a tank just getting to the trap cabin. Right so right that's on. things you got to consider, right? So uh, check this series out. Um, if you are watching it, we made it and our wives are happy. So that's good. We made it this far. If you're just finding this frozen <laughs> in a lake, uh, we had fun. Love you, sweetie. <laughs> so I uh, hope you guys enjoy the series. Let's see what we get into.
you doing? I don't have a bed, I got to the air. I have no idea what you said. <laughs> Parking up? Yeah. I have no idea what you're saying, that's great. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. <laughs> this is the big water. Moose Lake. The big body? This is, this is the big water. I'm just turning the GPS on there now. It's white out out here. Oh yeah. I know it's hard to grasp with a GoPro, but like, yeah, we're in the north now. <laughs> yeah. When I left Redford County, it was plus eight and raining. And now it's negative stupid, white out conditions. What a beautiful country we live in. I love this place. GPS is on. Here we go. You're my Sherpa today, so don't screw it up. So, <laughs> little update. <laughs> oh, my dad. His uh, toboggan decided to just not participate today. Where even are we? What a dream. This place is wicked. Oh, God. It's actually deeper than that on the way. <sighs> He's going to want these. The toboggan went completely sideways. It feels like we've been traveling on this lake forever. And all you can see is... Well, I think you get it. How'd you make out? <laughs> Everything good. okay? Hey? You've got the food, man. <laughs> it's all here. Okay. <laughs> Can't wait to see what the bread looks like. I'd say watch where you're going, but you can't see anything. Well, they've got open water just up ahead. Open water? Yeah, so follow me. Should probably keep the camera on for this. Hope you guys can see all right. Oh, Canada. Yeah, you gotta watch these, eh? The mouths. So yeah, it's it's it's, it's not deep. It's, it's shallow. It's a sandbar. Yeah, w these things don't, you know, <laughs> swim. So uh, yeah, yeah. Neither do I. Not well, at all. <laughs> so if you don't know the lake, you would pick right in the middle, being the safest, right? We're on a sandbar right now, so yeah, you'd be going right over this middle of the night, whatever, and well, you'd wind up in trouble. You gotta know where you're going, exactly. or at least have somebody with you that does. Because uh -huh. personally, I probably just would have whopped right across that. And you know what? Probably a lot of people do. Don't even notice they're running the open water, but 
I'd rather play safe than sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no kidding. How far up at this lake are they? This is one lake? This is, we're still, we're still Moose Lake. Yeah. This is 18 mile narrow. 18 mile narrow. So, I don't know what that is in actual science. What is that in kilometers? <laughs> like 24, 25? That's got to be more than that. I'll do the math later. No, we did a lot of shortcuts, but uh, yeah. And our next uh, hurdle will be the 25 mile narrows. Do they just, is that just what they call them? That's X they mile call them. and it's a narrow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next one's a little more dangerous than that. It's a lot of rocks and boulders. And again, you gotta take the shore side. Yeah, okay. Right. I don't know if you can see it, but we're going towards the white. <laughs> hey, all I see is like your tail light, and that's it. That's it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so, awesome. Seriously, when I left Petawawa, it was raining, all of our snow was going away, positive weather. Right. Where are we? <laughs> Norse. Yeah. We're Norse. No, kidding. Well. The only thing up here is pine trees. <laughs> and us. And us. Us dummies. So yeah, breaking down out here, could you imagine? Uh, let's try not to. <laughs> That'd be ideal, eh? Right on. take a minute to clean up yeah <laughs> Tying it together might not have been a good idea but oh my god oh this is gonna be messy oh beverly when you see this <laughs> we're super sorry about your packing job i told you the bread was screwed <laughs> uh, doesn't look like we're having uh macaroni salad chum well yeah oh hey okay. never glad i brought spare What's that yellow stuff? Eggs. Oh, <laughs> great. Uh, good, good. Where does one even start? Wow, check that out. <laughs> okay. Uh, see if any of the eggs made it. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, this one's still good? That one's cracked. <laughs> Are you kidding? See ya. Uh, we got one egg. Yeah. Nope. Uh, well done, Dad. <laughs> well done. You know what's sad? We're only halfway up. Uh, uh, that's actually, uh. Hold on here. Maybe we can wow. save a bit of that. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. You don't have a knife on you, do you? Uh, yes and no. I'm gonna go for a walk and get the rest of this stuff. <sighs> <laughs> Don't even want to know what that is. Oh, there's there's his knife. I always tell him you should probably secure that better. You know, take your time. He obviously did a good job raising me, but uh, doesn't take his own rules into account. Why is it always a gong show when we don't bring the wives? <laughs> Poor macaroni salad. Yeah. There's your cover. Oh, that's There's what I knife. need. So look, it all stayed together as planned. Yeah, just not in the container. Uh, Here's your hammer. Well, and your rope. Other than a bit of macaroni and a dozen eggs, that's what we lost. Uh, That's it. The bread's not really bread-shaped anymore. <laughs> oh. All 
right. We'll get through. I don't know what all this plastic came off of. That's off my uh, ice auger. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right. And yes, I broke the cooler. Well, you've probably had that cooler for 80 years, so not the end of the world. Easy on the 22. Ah. <sighs> well, I think you guys get the point. Uh. We lost about uh, all of the eggs but one. Um, Beverly, my dad's husband, if you're wa or wife, if you're watching, uh, your list didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Casualties. Um, so we have it kind of rigged up here. See if this lasts, and uh, <laughs> uh, we're not even close to halfway to destination here. So you just gotta simmer down on the throttle. Was it going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 90 to 100, not fast. <laughs> So, uh, if you guys are traveling in the middle of nowhere in northern Canada and you see a bunch of eggs and uh, some uh, some salad there, well, uh, you found us. That's going to be... Uh, someone's going to drive by this and go, what uh, happened? No, most people will understand. <sighs> well, that's cool. Check that out. We got off the lake. Uh, it was about... I'd say or so. We're all the way up north and now we're in the middle of nowhere. We gotta keep going about an hour. From what I'm told it's on trails like this, so might be a little interesting. Ah. At least this way my dad won't lose the toboggan again, hopefully. We're going slow enough, but uh, yeah. <laughs> we drove to nowhere to drive farther into nowhere and that's crapping in a nutshell. Quite the adventure just to get to the trap cabin, I'll tell you. Loving every minute of it. I really do. It's such a treat. A Martin box? That's what that is. It's a little far. Ooh. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a box and it's wired up to a log back there. And uh, that's another local trapper. It's another local trapper. This ain't my line. Yeah. So it belongs to somebody else. Right on. Uh, it's set up such that the animal, a Martin, a fisher, can run up the pole and position himself straight with the box. So the trap is right there in front of the box. Yeah. So the way the trapper set it up is perfect because it sets up the animal to go straight inside the box. And his treats waiting for him at the bottom. <laughs> at the back of the box, yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He doesn't get to it, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to point that out to you. Though. I just seen it there coming through. So uh, that Whiteout Lake was quite the adventure, White eh? Whiteout Lake, yeah, yeah. Oh, and look, everything's still together. Yeah. What a nightmare. Less some eggs. We saved one egg, but you decided to throw it away. After 11 gone, what's the point? We'd be fighting over one egg. Well, I'm going to be real disappointed tomorrow morning, I'll tell you. <laughs> Nothing wrong with bacon toast. But, uh, so trails are going to be like this for a while? This is going to take us about uh, a good half hour anyways to get through. Uh, what's nice about it this time is we don't have all the heavy snow sitting on top of the branches. About yeah. a month ago when I came through here, I had the pleasure of knocking all the snow off and yeah, yeah. someone's got to, <laughs> but uh, you have a saw just in case, eh? Just in case. Now that I have it, we won't see a tree, but if you don't have the chainsaw, that's exactly when you'll see multiple trees on, on the trail. Well, we ran in it, into it the last uh, trapping series there. We, exactly. had to, we had to make some cuts. Exactly. You never know what's going on out here. This isn't maintained stuff. There's no groomer. There's no anything. So Nothing. you got to be ready for the experience. But it's a great day for a ride. Oh, it's beautiful. It's it's only like minus, what, three, five? If that, yeah. If that, it's t-shirt weather. 
Right on. Maybe not so much when you're doing 100 on the lake, but <laughs> uh, in here, as you can see, there's there's no wind. This is still the same video from the lake, so. So yeah. It's just uh, I'm loving it. I really Good. am. Then let's go for a ride. made it to the cabin uh first thing i did was promptly get stuck uh we wanted to uh make a couple laps around the area so that there's an actual track we can either walk or drive through it settles and cools down packs that kind of thing makes it a little easier but i found a little too much snow over there and sank it completely but we got her out we made our loops and uh we hopped into the cabin dad got the uh wood stove going and uh, all the little things you have to get done when you first arrive at a camp especially in the winter it's significantly harder um, mm -hmm. so i came with them in the fall and uh, that's honestly just an extravagant camping trip at that point but <laughs> when you come in the winter it's like the whole day today we spent the whole day planning to get out here we had to get the sled and the toboggans and all that stuff and run up lakes and go through the bush and scrape food off the ice scrape food off the <laughs> ice yeah so that was uh our first tumble wasn't so bad uh, uh, a few things came out no big deal we recovered fly down the lake and sure enough there goes everything my dad decided to tie everything in the toboggan together seemed like a good idea but not tie it to the toboggan <laughs> so it actually made it worse uh. everything came out and just splattered all over the ice so uh, we're short 12 eggs uh half a uh, tin or whatever of uh, macaroni, macaroni salad. salad i saved the other half though i think i'll i'll eat that yeah yeah uh the uh ice auger we're missing parts yeah the air filter box and everything right off the the little carby just kind of destroyed uh we tried starting that i don't know if we're gonna get that going we'll figure <laughs> it out i lost 14 beers uh-huh not physically they were still in the toboggan but they decided to explode so i'm i'm down <laughs> I'm down 14 soldiers, and on top of that, my full toboggan was filled with beer. Mm. Uh, so if the police ever pulled us over, oh boy, that'd look bad. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so I got 10 beer left for a couple day trip. 
that's no good. Um, <laughs> so we're we're not defeated, uh, but we had an eventful day. Yeah. yeah. Holy adventure. So we don't we need that ice auger for a lot of examples this weekend, right? Yeah. Well, I don't think it's gonna happen. I wonder what it's going to look like when I'm filming you with the axe cutting holes. I'm not cutting a <laughs> hole with an axe. Why not? Because old... we're not going to catch any fish anyway. <laughs> it's what we do best. So uh, it's it's like zero degrees out here. Uh, beautiful day, mm. honestly. Uh, very mild for up here, actually. So like I was saying before, this, this place is like a, an extra month of winter, roughly, beginning and end. A little extra. So spring hit back home. We come up here. Winter's still on, man. Winter's full on. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we have a few things to do. I have to dig out a fire pit. Uh, he cleaned up the uh, cooler already. It's destroyed, so that's going to the dump, I guess. Full uh, of eggs. We do have some food left. <laughs> Bacon for breakfast tomorrow. You know what's funny, though? What? Like, I told your wife this morning. I was okay. like, when my dad and I get together and we do these things, it's extra uh... special somehow. There's always a story. Uh -huh. And now we get, they're going to be able to watch. Oh God, the minnows are so dead we, too. Oh, the minnows Mint, are dead The minnows too. are dead. Yeah. <laughs> the minnows are dead too. We've, so, got, to, we've got to tell them about that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we might be going home early. No, no fish, no trapping. Oh boy. Uh, no beer. Yeah. <laughs> Watching snowflakes fall. Yeah. <laughs> Hours of fun. So... <laughs> That pretty much sums up uh, today as far as getting out here and what that's like and uh, the whiteout conditions and the travel, toboggan experiences. Uh, I'm sure you could do all of this a little better. I thought we did okay, but I'm starting to tally things up now. It's not looking good. Um, so yeah, I'll get some beauty shots. Maybe I'll fly the drones. Actually kind of a good day for it. And uh, yeah, we'll end it there. So we, we made it. And if you're watching the video, well, I made it home too, so. Send eggs. <laughs> send, send eggs. <laughs> Thank you.